Hi everyone, uh, today I'm uh, fulfilling a request, well actually two requests. I'm going to show a Blitz game. Uh, so the Blitz uh, type of play is quite a bit different from the turn-based one. Uh, well, I would say the normal one because the Blitz, uh, the Blitz mode does have the option of using turn-based uh, turns. So you have real time where you need to uh, decide how long halves are, I suppose, because I haven't tried it, so don't quote me on that. And turn-based mode where you ca could cho choose the length of turns. Anyway, so we'll grab real time and uh, you'll notice that there are some uh, uh, some si similarities between uh, normal uh, a normal game and the blitz mode. So, as I said, I'm re fulfilling two requests. So one was the blitz game, and the other one is an ogre team versus a go uh, goblin team. So the OE team has more money than we do. Therefore, I will grab. Well, uh, I'll just show the uh, options that you have normally. Uh, for example, you can bribe a player to reduce their movement, or grab a, a bodyguard so to, to prevent bri uh, your players from being bribed. Uh, then you can have bad habits, basically removing uh, an opponent's uh, reroll and then you have potions potions can be good but they do cost quite a bit of money uh, the strength one has only roughly one out of four chances of uh, working of giving plus one to a player strength agility potion much better nearly six out of ten chances of giving uh, you one agility more. So uh, this really can help a team like uh, ogres or goblins uh, if you want to throw your players around the pitch. And finally, you, I've got my eye on you, is basically uh, another type of bribe uh, to the ref, um, but concerning those uh, potions. So I will grab a wizard and I will buy a potion of strength I don't have enough money oh yeah 40,000 so I will see ogre um, well I will cancel because I want to know which ogre has Bargrat the boss? Okay, so I will get him a potion, and hopefully he'll have four agility when the, the game uh, comes. Okay, Truck is probably one of his. Uh, trolls and you have three of the, the goblins and that's about it okay now I did try uh, try the blitz mode really really quickly earlier today and what happens is that you can pause the game by pressing the, the space bar and that's called the concentration mode where you can give orders and then you press the space bar once more and the, the players uh, take off. Uh, it's slightly cool I would say uh, because when you're in the concentration mode time goes very slowly and you hear the commentators uh, comments being 
slow and and uh, with a deep voice, a little bit like uh, the same uh, the same way that uh, the voice change uh, the voices change when you uh, throw a long bo long bomb. Anyway. I will kick this time. Now, the snotlings are a bit difficult to see. I will try to avoid the fanatic. And this is it. So my goal will be to try and kill as many people <laughs> I can <laughs> before things go badly. So uh, the only problem with the concentration mode is that since you can't hear the the game uh, the game sounds well, it will take away some of uh, the coolness of the. Uh, uh, of the blitz mode anyway okay as you can see this is the concentration mode colors go uh, get slightly different this ogre will try to get uh, towards the ball. This one will be going there. Here we go. Uh, that's not good. Yep. Oh yeah, the Fanatic fell. This is really good for me. As you can see, it takes a while for a player to. Oh, the Bombardier, so I guess I'll go after him. I will send these guys right there. Oh, no. I'll send him after the Goblin. Yeah! The, the Ogre fell, but injured the Bombardier. So, this is good. And the ogre is heading towards the loony. And this ogre is not doing anything, so I will send him right there. Good. And here's the first core. As you can see, I scored rather rapidly, so the game will probably go on for quite some time. Now, I'm not too sure if uh, the blitz mode handles uh, uh, the secret weapons any differently, so we'll know soon enough. No, it doesn't. This is very good. So the Fanatic and the Looney are gone. That's awesome. So, in a normal game, I would say that the Ogres have a very decent chance of beating the Goblins. Except that, well, it's really difficult for an Ogre to get... Uh, block and tackle. Um, however, I do think that an ogre team is slightly better prepared uh, than a goblin one. So I would expect them to win uh, for if you have two teams with the, the same uh, team value, of course. Whoa! 
the ogre fell down. And here we see, uh, well, sometimes you see different object fall uh, on the pitch. Uh, I'm not too sure what this does. Uh, sometimes it's a po 